Hey, would you like to know the secret strategy to grow your YouTube channel, podcast, and also your social media channels effortlessly? In this video, I am going to present you the strategies on how you can effectively repurpose the content on your website for more traffic and brand awareness. Stay tuned. So what the heck is content repurposing? Content repurposing refers to converting your blog content or website content to different formats to cater different audience. So here are some of the benefits of repurposing your blog content. The first benefit is that you tap to new audience. So you have content on your site. Now it's time to convert it into videos, podcasts. By that you tap into new audience. So your audience may be uh, visual guys or auditory guys. Some may uh, prefer listening to podcasts instead of reading your blog post or some may prefer uh, watching videos instead of uh, reading your blog post. So you serve those new kind of audience uh, with content repurposing. And the second benefit, brand awareness. Brand awareness is very important, especially in growing your personal brand and also getting more uh, converting leads. There's a concept called mere exposure effect. That means if people encounter your brand and expose to it in various platforms, the chances of them converting to a lead and also to a customer is really high. So if you consider repurposing your content in all different platforms, it adds to the mere exposure effect of your brand. The third benefit is cost cutting. With content repurposing, you are not investing a lot in creating unique uh, content. You have plenty of content on your blog. You are just repurposing your content to different formats and you are saving a lot of time and energy when it comes to creating new content. Jay Bayer from Convince and Convert is an excellent example when it comes to repurposing the content on his site. He and his team repurposes the content to short videos, podcast episodes and also social media posts. He has described his whole uh, process in one of his podcast episode, Do Give It A Listen. The next one is how to choose content to repurpose. So you should not repurpose each and every content present on your site. You need to be strategic when it comes to choosing the content you need to repurpose. So you need to spot down uh, the highly engaged or uh, viral content on your site and choose to repurpose it for more predictable good results. You may want to choose your blog posts that have garnered more attention, more social shares, more comments and also more traffic. You can head over to Google Analytics and in the report section, you can head over to all pages and just note down all the pages that are driving great engagement and great traffic on your site. Or also you can make use of Buzzsumo. In Buzzsumo, you can enter in any domain name or your own domain name, right? So, and the Buzzsumo will return you all the blog posts that have garnered more social shares on your website. So those are proven topics that people love. And if you consider repurposing the content on them, then they also perform very well. Now let's discuss some of the ways by which you can effectively repurpose your content. The first one is you can repurpose your content to slides. For this, you need to outline your blog post. If you have already created your blog post outline, even before writing your blog post, it's time to refer to that outline. Once you have created your outline out of your blog post, you can make use of uh, PowerPoint's feature that allows you to create slides out of your outline. By this, you can effortlessly create uh, very engaging presentations out of your blog post. Once your presentation is ready, make sure uh, that the slides reflect your brand, brand colors and all. And also you can consider adding more and more external links to your products and services and also your relevant blog posts inside the slide. Once you have created your presentation, it's time to upload your presentation document in various platforms like SlideShare by LinkedIn, Isu or uh, Slide Deck. Uh, there are many platforms where you can upload your presentations to get more traffic. And make sure you SEO optimize the presentation by including the base keyword in the title of your presentation and also in the description of your presentation on these various platforms. Especially slide share presentations rank well on Google. So make sure you include the prominent keywords in various places whenever you are uploading any presentation to slide share. You can also consider embedding these presentations inside your blog post so that you know people who prefer uh, going through uh, the presentation instead of reading your content will be thankful for you and they will stick around for a longer period on your site. Eugene Sheng is a great example when it comes to uh, repurposing his content on LinkedIn well. 
His repurposing strategy helped him get more than 10,000 new email subscribers to his list. You can also consider creating infographics out of your slides. You can consider outsourcing the infographic creation to many graphic designers, or you can also make use of tools like Wizme, uh, pic to chart to create infographic by yourself or by your VA. Once you have your presentation ready, it will be quite easy for you to create infographics out of them. The presentation that you created in the previous step act as a template upon which you can create your infographic. Once you embed the infographics on your blog post, make sure you implement uh, infographic backlink building and also gistographic strategy on your blog for more natural backlink. You can also consider submitting your infographics to various infographic directories like uh, Visually or there are many platforms. You can conduct a Google search like infographic directories and submit your infographic to all of them. And make sure you include a line for other people that if they want to include your uh, infographic in their blog post, then they need to link back so that you can garner more natural backlinks. The next one is you need to consider creating videos out of your blog post content. And this is the strategy I'm doing right now. The video that is on uh, content repurposing is already in textual form on my blog post. Now I'm repurposing the same content in the form of video. If you are a visual guy, then instead of reading that blog post, you are now watching this video. Video marketing is huge. The trend is rising. Although video content would not replace text content, there's still a huge gap to be filled by high quality videos. To repurpose my blog post to uh, YouTube videos, all I'm using is a backdrop, right? And a Boya M1 mic, studio lights, Camtasia Studio on my Mac, and that's it. After you create and produce your videos, you need to upload it to YouTube. You can also consider uh, editing it for various social media networks like Facebook, Instagram, IGTV and much more. If your videos are too long, you can consider splitting them up for various social media networks. When more and more people watch your videos completely, it adds to the rankings in YouTube and also in Facebook watch. You may have come across many popular YouTube channels wherein they repurpose their video and turn them to audio and upload it in their podcasts. Uh, many examples like London Real or Impact Theory by Tom Bilbeau, they are all doing this. Whenever you create your videos, just extract the audio out of it and make sure you add your podcast intro and outro to the audio that is extracted and just publish it to your podcast platform. You can make use of platforms like Anchor.fm. It's a free podcast publishing uh, platform. You can publish your podcast episodes for free there and it will do all the hard lifting like distribution of your podcast to various platforms like uh, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, CastBox and much more. You can't simply ignore this strategy because podcasts are all on reach, especially with voice activated devices and smart speakers like Google Home and Amazon Alexa. Added to this, according to a report by Triton Digital, 51% of the US podcast listeners have an annual household income of more than $75,000. That means focusing on podcasting is very lucrative. For podcast creation, all you need is a good mic, a computer, and also a free uh, audio editor like Audacity for both PC and Mac, and also a free platform like Anchor.fm to distribute your podcast episodes efficiently. You can craft um, Facebook posts, LinkedIn posts, Quora answers out of your blog posts, and make sure you do not copy whole of your blog content and just paste it in the social media networks. Just repurpose parts of them. For example, when you're answering any Quora answer, don't just copy and paste all the text in your blog content. Just copy and paste the strategic portions of your blog post as Quora answers to those questions. And make sure you add a hooking introduction and also practice the art of storytelling for getting some attention and also more upvotes on Quora. Needless to say, you may have now realized that content repurposing is a great way to increase your followings, traffic across various social media networks and getting new eyeballs on your brand. If you have liked this video, just hit that like button. If you have any doubts regarding content repurposing, just let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get more video updates as I upload them.